This video will show the simple installation and setup of your Swingate Opener Model GTR058. Before installing, please read the user's manual carefully as it contains important safety and installation information. Some minor manual excavation works may be required, so please use the Dial Before You Dig service to avoid any damage to underground assets. Before you begin, you'll need the following tools. A power drill, tape measure, adjustable wrench, C-clamps, spirit level, Phillips head screwdriver and a marker. You will also need two lengths of 20mm or 40mm electrical conduit and two 90 degree elbow fittings. Ensure that your swing gate is correctly installed. The hinges are greased and the gate is level and swings freely by hand. First, Assemble the two post pivot brackets using the supplied M10 bolts, nuts and washers. Hand tighten so that the pivot plate can swivel freely. With your gate in the fully open position, clamp the post pivot bracket to your fence post. Measure and adjust the pivot bracket angle positioning to ensure the centre of the pivot bracket hole is between 120mm to 170mm dimension A and 190 to 220mm dimension B. Next, lock the pivot bracket position using the supplied 30mm bolts, nuts and washers. If you can't lock the pivot bracket because the holes are not aligned, use a metal drill bit and drill through the bracket as shown. Now, using the clevis pin, attach the assembled post pivot bracket to the gate opener arm. Use the supplied hairpin clip to hold in place. Attach the gate bracket to the opener arm using the same method. Now, clamp the gate bracket to your gate, ensuring the motor arm is retracted and your gate is in the fully open position, 90 degrees to your fence line. Repeat this process for the other gate opener arm. Remove the release plug on top of both gate arms. Insert key and turn 90 degrees clockwise. This puts the gate opener in manual mode. Before proceeding to the next step, check that you can move your gate slightly past the fully closed position. If required, adjust the post bracket's positioning to ensure you can achieve the full range of motion. Mark the middle of the bolt hole points for both the gate bracket and the post bracket. Take out the clevis pins. And remove the gate opener arm from the brackets. Now, Unclamp the brackets from the gate and the post. Then, drill 10.5mm holes at the mark locations on your gate for both of the gate arms. Hand tighten the gate bracket to your gate with the supplied 75mm M10 bolts, washers and nuts. Once you have drilled holes all the way through your post, Clamp the pivot bracket back onto the post and insert the supplied 200mm bolts and hand tighten. With your gate closed, fully extract the gate opener arm and connect to the brackets using the clevis pin and hairpin clip. Now, use the key to put the gate opener back into automatic mode. Do this for both of the gate opener arms. The control box should be located on the same side as gate arm 1. Remove the cover of your control box and mark out holes for mounting. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to mount the control box at least one metre above the ground. The GTR058 double swing gate 
requires a power line for gate arm motor 2 to be run underground across your entrance for connection to the control box. For concrete driveways, use a circular saw with a concrete cutting blade and cut a shallow trench to run the power lead in conduit. For gravel driveways, simply dig a trench about 150mm deep. Use either 40mm or 20mm conduit. If you use the smaller size conduit, simply cut the plug on gate arm 2 and feed the cable through. You don't need to cut the plug if you use 40mm conduit. Now, lay the conduit in your trench. Use the angled conduit to bring your cable up at the point it meets the control box and gate motor arm. Then fill the trench back in. If you have cut the plug, strip the five coloured wires and then feed the cut cable up through the control box. Then, disconnect the terminal and remove the five wires for motor arm 2. Using your screwdriver, connect the wires to the terminal block, making sure to match the wires position by colour. Connect the motor plug for gate arm 1 and tighten. Do the same for motor arm 2 if you haven't cut the plug. Now, turn on the unit to repair a remote. To pair a remote, press and hold the button marked Learn until the LED light goes on, then release. Now, press the first button on the remote control twice. The LED will flash and then turn off. Your remote is now paired. Now, replace the cover for the control box. Both gate motor arms are fitted with an adjustable limit switch which sets the final closing position of your gates. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the screw on the motor without removing it. Slide the limit switch towards the motor to set the final closing position and then re-tighten the screw. Congratulations, you have successfully installed the GTR 058 dual arm swing gate opener. Additional gate hardware products are available from Richmond Wheel and Caster Company. Visit our website to see the full range of hinges, stoppers, catches and more. Thanks for watching.